Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. This week's video is actually a setting up my iOS 14 iPhone with me because I finally just got enough storage. So I finally updated my phone and I'm so excited to make it look really cute and aesthetic. So let's just get right on into it. So I actually already downloaded the Widget Smith app. So I guess we're just going to try and work with that now. So I'm seeing all these different types of ways that I can show it. I think first I want to have one just for the day and like the month. So I'm going to be doing this September 20th. No, Sunday 20th. I think that's good. Oh my gosh. Why is that like the one photo that's showing up right now? Um... I guess I can do, let's go to background color. Whoa, these are so cute. I think I'm going to be doing maybe pale pink. Very, very cute. Okay, and let's see the different fonts. I think that I like this Sunday, that one, the New York style. Okay, let's go back. And we save it and we have it. Look at there. Very cute. Okay, I'm gonna try and add these widgets on my home screen and just get everything together and make it really cute. I think that I want to do a monochrome look for every single different page. And so I think this first one's going to be pink and then each different one will be different colors. Okay, Pinterest is here on my sharing, and we're going to go look up some cute photos, so like pink aesthetic, and hmm, pink aesthetic Y2K vibes. I think that will be really, really cute. Y2K wallpaper. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's going to look so bougie. Like, not really, kind of. So now I know that I like this pink aesthetic as you saw. I actually went on Pinterest and I looked at a bunch of different things to see what I wanted. And I'm deciding that I kind of like to have one of these widgets on each page. So now we're going to go through and I want to customize each of my apps and my pages. So we open shortcuts and then I want to make it so I can change how things look. So we're going to add an action, and then we're going to say open app, okay? And then we have to choose an app. So I'm thinking that I want to change, let's say, we'll do photos first, why not? And so this is going to be photos, this is what it's going to open. Then I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to, I already named it, so we're going to go add to home screen. Then we click on it, choose photo. And I have all of my aesthetics here. So I'm thinking that I do, I don't know. Um, we can do the little phone that looks cute. So we choose that and then we add it. Okay, and we're done. So then let's go look. And there it is, our little photos app is so cute. And I just put it there and that's how you do everything. Wow, that's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the color widgets app. And I think that even though I love the Powerpuff Girl, I think I'm going to edit her a little bit. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna edit the widget. Keep this one, but let's add a photo. Mm, that one doesn't look very good. So let's save this. Okay, if I do it like a box, then it looks better. So let's see the Dior one. That one also looks better. So I think I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to set widget. Okay, I saved it. We're going to go back. And now I'm going to home screen go here 
color widget and I'm going to add this widget. And now I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to remove this one. And now I have a really cute one. So basically what you do for cute little widgets like the um, one with the Dior, for that one you have to download color widgets and you can go and you can customize it. You can do ones with Powerpuff Girls, change the font and change the style as well as the phone in the background. For ones that are like about your calendar and also dates, you can do Widget Smith and so that's the one that I have on this first page. And then to change all of your apps, you have to go to shortcuts. Let's see, let's add an action. Well, let's say we're done with that. Okay, so we add another action. Add action, open. Open up, then you choose the app. Uh, let's do Depop. And then you come here to the little blue dots. Press, you rename it. Do you rename it if you want to. Okay, am I able to do this? Okay. Then, oopsies. Then I need to go back to Depop. And I need to say, hey, I want to add this to my home screen. So I press add to home screen. Then I press the little icon right there choose photo then I choose my photo and since I think Depop's very like Y2K style um, I think this would be kind of fun to do one of like a Powerpuff Girls rendition and then I press add and then I press done and then we go and find Depop and there she is oh my goodness that is so cute and then I put them over there so I'll come back after I do this whole entire thing, probably going to change the background so it's not like super busy. And yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys what I end up doing. So I have finally finished my phone. Honestly, it's not completely done just because it takes forever, especially doing the shortcuts. But I think that I will do the rest of it later. So I'm going to show my screen sharing right now. Maybe I'll put it right here. And so you can see that I put like kind of this more delicate pink aesthetic first for right when I open up my phone. It's like my photos, my Snapchat, camera, Instagram. And then it has like the calendar there to show the date. And then the next one's a little bit more of a Tumblr aesthetic. So this is kind of like just have some little random photos here just to should be like, hey, like, I don't know, just kind of fun little Tumblr quotes. And then I have my Depop, Pinterest, Netflix, YouTube, and all that other fun stuff. And so I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be continuing doing that. Let me know if you'd like to see another video about this potentially. Um, maybe a finished one or a what's on my iPhone video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and that you're being happy and healthy during this time. Bye!